What's up? It's your boy Jones Man, and tonight with Jones and on Sun Cliff G. All right, so let me get this open for you. Um, just I had a, I had Sun Cliff reach out, and they said, "Hey, you want to try some gin?" And I'm like, "Sure, why not?" You know, I am not a big gin guy. But you can't be in the spirits game and not try everything that you can possibly try. Um, the packaging on this thing is super cool, which I believe this is like a PR kit. So this is not how it comes to you at home. But Suncliff is a Arizona gin. Um, and it talks about that the juniper comes from Sedona. I think, if I'm not mistaken, which I've been to Arizona and Sedona's Red Rock country, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I mean, look, look at the look at the colors in that, the yellow, this teal, and then if you look in the bottom of this bottle, um, that reminds me of that Red Rock country that is Sedona. Um, probably this shade, man. It's I, I, if you've never been there, it's just something you got to see. Um, Sun Cliff, uh, this is. 45%. So, which gin normally comes in at a little, about 45, 46, somewhere in that neighborhood. So, that is, you know, it, it within range. Um, this is also a dry gin. And if I understand it right, and if I'm wrong, y'all correct me. Um, if I understand it correctly, dry gins are the, the pure gins. No sweeteners, nothing added to it. This is uh, just the basic uh, grain spirit and the impact that the botanicals have. So the botanicals here are your Arizona juniper. That, that what is it? They say they let it they let it uh, shake and free, and then it is dry in the Arizona sun. Um, there's some real earthy, you know, spirals in there. It's got a it's got a real like. Arizona feel to me. Um, so I think we just try. Arizona is, is made with Arizona juniper and wild foraged botanicals. I think when I was reading earlier, I saw something about elderflower, but I wasn't, I'm not 100% sure on that. So let's pop her open. I love this little fat bottle. I love the design. Let's see how she tastes. Ooh, okay. Curiously complex and aromatic, Suncliff's juniper berries were shaken from the twisted trees of Sedona, a slice of high desert beloved by the mystics and adventurers. Then sun-dried in a landscape marked by sacred vortexes, soaring cliffs, and endless Arizona sky. I guess that's, that's your vortex right now. So my initial, as I'm talking through this and letting it just escape from the bottle, I smell... Uh, some gin. Yeah, yeah. Let's pour us up a little bit. All right. Now, I will say there is definitely a juniper influence here. However, there is a interesting fruit note there. Fruits, it's weird. It kind of smells fruity, and it kind of smells smells like a uh, chili. Not chili like uh, like a bowl of Wendy's chili, but like a chili pepper. Hmm, interesting. Let's go ahead and give it a little tasty taste. Click them and drink them. I feel like, okay, definite juniper influence in there. Um, feel a little warmth in and around. But it has to be. I don't know if, if psychologically I've, I've said it to myself, but I definitely get an a elderflower, elderflower note here. Let's try it on the rocks. Yeah, 
Man, for, for <laughs> that's actually pretty tasty for Jen. Uh, well, I shouldn't say, yeah, it's, it's, it's a, I should say, it is a tasty Jen. Wow. Um, it's also non-chill filter. I'm trying to see, like, I want to know what the botanicals are now. I hate I didn't get all of those. But, man, I definitely get, like, a little, um, a little elderflower kind of note to that. It also has, like, a little chili feel. I don't know if it's just me or I haven't had any chili today, but it has a, it's not really spicy, but when you smell chili, like chili peppers or chili powder, you know that aroma that's there. And then it's like a little slight fruit in, in there. You so this is, uh, all right, I got to give it to you. Now, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty doggone good. Like normally, I, I can't really sip a lot of gin because that juniper is just pow, 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 pow. But this is very well balanced. Um, and <laughs> I got to say, kind of simple. Um, for, and that's a, that's a big deal coming from a non-gin lover. Uh, I want to do my thing. I always say what the magic, the thing I don't, I, I'm not a big fan of gin. But I'm also not a, a big fan of tonic. And I find it amazing how gin and tonic together create this beautiful cocktail with such simplicity, full of flavor, um, that I, I always say it's like, um, I would just, it's, it's, I, hold for a minute. So I guess I, guess I should rate it first. Um, I'm going to give this, I don't know the price point. But I would expect this to, to cost a couple coins. Bottle design is really, really nice. And the juice on the inside is really good. I'm going to give it a four. In the world of gin, I'm going to give it a four. It is um, a high quality gin. The proof is there. It has a nice set of botanicals that I think would stay true to what a gin lover would enjoy about gin. But would also provide enough um, variation to the traditional formula. Uh, I'm, I am surprised this is, so now everything's going like, okay, well, boom, this is a dry gin. So there's no sweetener, there's nothing added to this, but it has that nice fruity sweetness to it. It's really good. It's a high quality. I'm, I'm led to believe that this is a very high quality gin. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. Okay. Now this will actually be a gin that won't just sit on my shelf. Um I like this. Wow. Suncliff. Thank you for reaching out because I probably wouldn't have picked it on my own. Um Wow. That's really good. Makes a great gin and tonic. Uh, and it is a sippable gin. So there you have it, folks. I don't know. Now I'm like, do, do they make other products? Uh, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and the Tiki Talkies. If you want to get Sun, Cl Sun Cliff Gin, um, you go to uh, suncliffgin.com, I believe it is, and get more information. I'll, I'll post it down below, especially if it's different. Uh, of course, you want to order some fantastic products. Check out jonesandman.com. Use my code clinkum 5 Free shipping when you spend 125 bucks, And you save 5% off of your order. Man, I might have to try and see if we can get this on CW. This is a phenomenal gin. Boom. See you next time. Clink them and drink them.